In this video, I want to show you some tips and tricks for MBD or model based definition with combined states in Creo 3. In the view manager, you can see we have some layer states already defined and some combined states. I'm going to check this box so I can see the combined states from the model tab. When I click on the front view, you'll see the layer state changes, the orientation of the model changes, and some annotations appear on the screen. If we want to create a top combined state, let's go to the annotation tab, activate the top orientation plane, click plus, we can double click to enter the name, and now we have a top combined state. Let's show an annotation on our top combined state. When you show an annotation, it is captured on the active combined state. Now we'll show some annotations on the right combined state. I have config.pro option tall underscore display set to yes. So when I show this dimension, I can edit its properties and show tolerances if desired. Now we'll show some annotations on the front view. Notice we have to manually set the active annotation plane when switching between combined states. I'm going to create a diameter dimension by double clicking the edge. Notice the layer state does not change when I switch to the default all combined state. Let's create a combined state to capture the default orientation and the show all layer state. Again, we'll double click to rename the state and I can reorder them by dragging. Now I can quickly return to a view that is better suited for modeling. Before I create some GTALs and set datums, I'm going to check my active annotation plane. Now we'll create a geometric tolerance. I'll choose my type, reference a surface, and then place with a leader. I'm going to left click the edge and middle click to place it. In this case, we want to reference both bottom surfaces, so I add some additional text. Now we can create the set datum by referencing the same geometry and placing in the GTOL. To create a mid-plane set datum, I will first create a new datum plane referencing datum right and then create a set datum through that plane and place it in the dimension. Notice the datum feature is renamed to B as well. We need to create one more set datum reference on the right view. Let's activate the right orientation plane and start the annotation feature. This time we'll create a perpendicular geometric tolerance, reference this left surface, and place with a tangent leader referencing this edge and again middle clicking to place. Let's remove that additional text and make sure that we reference set datum A. Now we can create set datum C, referencing the same surface. We're going to leave the placement on geometry. Notice it's placed on that right datum plane. Let's go into orientation and we're going to place it on a reference plane instead on this front surface. We want to check the box place annotation on reference plane and in this case we need to rotate the text. If we want to move the set datum we can pick a new place on the geometry and notice it stays on our reference plane. With these three set datums created, we can create the final GTOL for the whole. We create a positional tolerance, referencing the whole edge, and we'll place this in the dimension. Under datum refs, we can reference datum A, B, and C. And finally, we can create the set datum for this hole. We'll reference the whole surface. 
and place it in the whole dimension. Lastly, we want to create a combined state to capture all the annotations using the add to state function. From the front combined state, we can shift select all of our annotations and click add to state. We'll do the same with the right and top views. Now we have one combined state that will show all of our annotations on a 3D view.